You know what this garage needs? Another project. <laughs> this is still available. Not sure where I'm gonna stick it, but maybe your mom could give me some suggestions. <laughs> All right, so before I hit the road, this was just like an unplanned thing, which has kind of been the theme of my last several projects. Anyways, my brother, he's in a bad situation, kind of hit a deer, totaled his car, and he's got some things going on, so he needed a cheap vehicle. So I bid on a cheap vehicle and I lost the first one. Then I found another one who was different, and uh, I said, I think this one will go pretty cheap. And it was it's high miles, but it looks like it's in really good shape. So we're still taking a gamble here, which I told him he doesn't have to buy it if uh, i got to put extensive work into it. I'll just fix it and sell it. But it, it's an easy fix. At least it looks like an easy fix. It's going to be a quick fix. And I got it cheap. My winning bid was $1,400, so after fees was $2,035. So let's hit the road. I'm on the stairs. I'm in your house. You say you'll be right down. And I'm struggling to take a deep breath. I slow my heart down. I can't seem to process you in that sun. before I like the color the front bumper the front bumper is a respray battery is a little low got for 2035 bucks is a 2015 Subaru Legacy with 184,000 miles on it but thing seems like it runs like a top and there's no rust underneath which is a plus all right so as you can see we have light damage here the worst of it is the support underneath here that the fender bolts to it's like a thick piece and it's bent in I think they hit a car I don't think this is deer damage I was looking you normally got deer hair if you hit a deer and I'm not seeing any deer hair anywhere. Yes, there's a couple zip ties in this because we just took this to Mexico and took it for a drive. And I don't know what it is about these Subarus. Same thing with the blue stick shift uh, Impreza that I did. 
I think the forklift, something with the forklifts, knocks the sway bar bushings out. Then not, I don't know if they're both still there. I know the driver's side. I can see, the, or no, it's this side. I can see the bushing still in there. It just pushes them out of the mounts. They're still there. But when you go down the road in this thing, it's banging and rattling as soon as you're hitting bumps. But that's because the sway bar bushings are not in there. So it sounds horrible. Besides that, this thing runs and drives great. It drives straight. I also have a question for you guys because I'm questioning this myself. So... Obviously, this thing has 184,000 miles on it. For a tan interior, like, and, and it had the factory floor mats were in the back. Very clean. Look at this. Very clean. Um, the dash, everything. Now, this is dirty from somebody touching it. But for 2000 bucks, and it has an Alpine stereo in it, thing fires right up. Let me show you. Let me go over my question here. Now, I know these things will last 184,000 miles, no problem. I know they'll go 200,000 miles, no problem. But, it looks like maybe the original engine. Here's where my question's at. Down there. I do not believe that a factory engine is going to have paint mark numbers on it. That's normally a junkyard thing. So I don't know if this engine has been replaced or not. There's no history on it. I can't pull it up to see if it's been replaced. The engine sounds good. Now, we do have a ton of corrosion. I need to knock off right here. <laughs> a ton. Um, besides that, though, it's now that it's idled down, the motor sounds good. There's no leaks underneath. Everything looks really healthy in here and sounds good. Coolant level's good. Our brake level is at max. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that either somebody topped this off or the brakes are brand new on this, which I'm gonna guess the brakes are brand new. The thing they didn't do was put new tires on it. This thing needs new tires the whole way around. Now, it's something I couldn't tell in the pictures. I wish they were still writing the tread depth on the fenders like they did there for a little bit. They quit doing that. Um, so, I don't know. I didn't know how much tread was on the tires until I got it. And now, I wish I would have seen that. But, you know, it is what it is. Still, this is a very cheap vehicle and that's what he needed. So, I'm hooking him up for a really good price. He's getting this cheap. And who's to say this engine doesn't have 100,000 miles or less on it? I don't know. I can't tell by looking at the engine and transmission combo to tell if one, you know, looks dirtier than the other. The transmission looks pretty clean, too. So, I'm like, I can't tell just by looking at it that this has been replaced. But I don't know why there's numbers on the engine. There's also a possibility, since this bumper's been resprayed, that this thing got hit in the front and broke that front timing cover and they had to replace the front timing cover. That's a possibility I didn't think of until just now but still this thing's pretty clean now I am hooking him up with a couple little aftermarket goodies now we were just gonna get one headlight but after I seen it in the pictures look how hazy this one is I did get two new headlights and they're kind of factory style but they're a little bit different ordered a new bumper ordered the bezels with fog lights with the whole wiring kit and switch that goes inside so it's going to have fog lights when we're done and i also think he doesn't he's on the fence about it but i think i'm going to go ahead and put a wing on this because he wanted one and uh i had a q50 one and we put it back there and it didn't fit and he was just kind of bummed about that i think i'm going to get him one anyways um as for tires i have brand new tires in my cart but have not purchased them yet because he's trying to find a set of wheels. In fact, we went and looked at a set on the way home and they, they had winter treads on them and two of the winter treads were really cupped. And I told him, I said, if you're gonna buy a set, get a set with good tires because you need tires. So he, he either needs to buy new tires or he needs to find a set of wheels with good tires because you don't want to buy wheels and then buy tires. He's gonna have a lot of money in that and he wants this to be on the cheaper side. So we're 
and he still has good steel wheels here and needs a hubcap which we might end up just scuffing repainting these steel wheels and then getting another hubcap or get different color hubcaps but we still need to paint these wheels so that's something else we're going to do we're going to spruce this thing up make it look pretty nice it's actually for the price this is really nice so if you guys watch my channel much you'll know i'm a little bit of a gym buff okay i like to lift i like to work out i'm not much on the cardio i like to go mountain biking so when this company reached out to me offering me a spin bike to review i was like yeah, I'll try it out. All the tools you need to put this thing together come inside the box. This is the Yeesol G1M Plus. This bike is fully adjustable. Oh, it has a bigger seat than most of the your spin bikes that you see. Two bottle holders, it comes with a flat display that you can mirror your phone. I have to say what I like the most about this thing is that when I mirror my phone, I can use their app and their biking software, which is cheaper than all the other ones, like the big name brand ones, I won't say. But you can also use their software if you need to. So like for us, we have a certain fitness mirror and it comes with a membership, but they also offer a cycling program on that membership. I can pull up my app for that system and pull up their cycling program and I can watch and, and train with their program. I don't have to use the Yeso app. But if you're not like me and you don't have any other programs, Yeso is actually the cheapest of all of the spin programs that I've seen, including this bike itself. It is reasonably cheap compared to all these other bikes. It is a fraction of the cost. And on top of that, when you use my discount code down below, you're gonna get more money off of it, like $100. If you like biking or you just wanna get in shape, this is a very inexpensive way to get into a spin bike and actually get yourself in shape these things are, are very sturdy it's easy to put together i think i had a half an hour in putting it together it was not hard at all as of right now i've used it two times and it has kicked my butt both times and my wife's been using it and she loves it she said this is actually pretty awesome so i want to thank yeso for sending this out to me and let me test it and uh, do a review on it Make sure you click my link down below, go check it out, and get yourself one. And these have more power than the Impressas do, and they get better gas mileage. It's a bigger engine, it's a 2.5 four-cylinder. These things are rated 36 on the highway, and if it's anything like my Impreza was, I got better than the highway rating on it. So I, I don't know. Does anybody know what kind of gas mileage you can get out of these? I'm, I'm gonna guess like 38. But that's really good, especially for all-wheel drive. Look at this side. Nothing wrong with it. And yes, we are starting this thing now, okay? Uh, I know C10, well, he needs this. He has a rental car for a month. And I want to get this done and get it to him. So we're going to start this. I also think I'm going to cut the muffler off. <laughs> we're going to take the muffler off to see what it sounds like. If it's not obnoxious, we're going to straight pipe it. So, there's that. <laughs> but what do you guys think? You think this was a good purchase? I think it was a good purchase. Highly surprised there's like no rust underneath this thing. Like it's for the miles and the area, I was worried about rust and there's none. So, we, we got ourselves a deal on this thing. We also already picked up the paint. Uh, the paint itself was 140 bucks for a quart. It is, what is it, Twilight Blue? Twilight Blue? Yep. I, uh, there's two shades of it. I held the cards up to it, matched it. Got some uh, reducer. So I'm all in right now. I'm still under three grand on this. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, this is a pretty solid car for three grand. Now, if we have, we're gonna buy tires, it's gonna be over three grand. 
We haven't purchased those yet. But, yeah. They're coming. I don't know about you, but I've been on Marketplace. And for $3,000, you are not getting that much. So, I did just order a wing for them. Don't, don't tell them I did that. It's carbon fiber as well. Oops. But anyways, if you like this video and you're looking forward to another build, this one's going to get finished quick, uh, then hit that like button and consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom's high mileage but still runs like a top. And we'll see you on the next episode of Rack. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Did you guys party while I was going? Huh? Yeah? Stretching out, you ready to go? You ready to rip? You're ornery.